Estimating in an agile world is causing you a lot of pain. I'll tell you how I know that right after this. Hi, my name is Gary Strawn. Welcome to Development That Pays and welcome to the first of several episodes on the subject of estimating. At the end of last year, I asked you about your agile frustrations and I got more responses on the subject of estimating and estimation than any other subject. And so my task was clear, an episode or three on the subject of estimation, which is a little bit of a problem for me. First of all, I'm a developer. And second of all, and this may not be unrelated, I hate estimating. I go to great lengths to avoid it. Or so I thought until something caught my eye. This is the back door of my house. It's in a terrible state of repair. It hasn't been properly maintained. Actually, it hasn't been properly maintained on purpose. And that's because we've been planning to replace these doors. Planning to replace them for the best part of a decade. So each time the exterior woodwork is painted, we've just missed these doors out. What the heck have these doors got to do with estimation? Well, these doors, or rather their replacement, have been a major source of estimating by me. You see, we don't just want to change these doors, we want to try a different style. And we're also thinking of opening up the gap to give us a better view of the garden. So I've been juggling the various costs of different door styles, bifold and sliding and crittle and pivot. I even looked at this rather wonderful design. And looking at all of the above in various different sizes, factoring in the cost of the building work to install a lintel and open up the gap. Hold on just a second. What's going on here? Well, I'm juggling options for the best result at the lowest cost, I suppose. Oh, you mean, how is it that the developer who refuses to estimate is spending quite a lot of his free time estimating? Yeah, that is a good point. Back to the replacement doors project. The next step will be to get someone around to quote for the job. And here's a conversation that I've imagined. What do you do for a living? Oh, I'm a software developer. Oh, great. Uh, do you work in an agile fashion? Actually, I do. Yes, I, I try to. That's great because we at the Acme Building Company also work in an agile fashion. Really? That's excellent. Yes, uh, we'll, what we'll do is we'll work with you to prioritize your requirements and it'll be ready when it's ready and it'll cost what it'll cost. Would you proceed on that basis? So what's my point? Well, my point is that whether we realize it or not, we're all estimating all the time. What changes is our role in the estimation and, and also the context. What's interesting is that we quite like to get estimates. We're much less comfortable generally with giving estimates. So Gary, the homeowner, likes to get estimates for home improvement projects. Gary, the developer, does not like to give estimates for software development projects. Is it time then for Gary, the developer, to put on his big boy trousers and start cranking out those estimates? No, it is not time for that. And I'll tell you exactly why it isn't time for that at the beginning of the very next episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your network and hit the logo right here for a brand new episode each and every Wednesday. I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Cheers for now.